Hey guys, welcome to, um, it's part, still part of unit one, but we're in chapter two in the book and lesson three. Um, today, we are going to start talking about work problems, and this is going to take a couple days to really sink in. Um, so just if you're having issues, just re-watch re re um, pieces of it and um, reach out to me. I'll help you however I can. So let's get going. Um, so there's just a few things that I need to make sure that you know. Um, first of all, like the rectangular formula, um, it might look like you might be finding the area, so that's length times width. Um, you might be finding the perimeter, so you're going to double the length, double the width, and then add them together. Um, so make sure that you know, know those two because um, they do show up on the test. Okay, so let's go to number one, and I have a feeling it's going to use one of those two. So a rectangle, rectangle has a perimeter of 64 feet. Okay, so we know that all the way around, that's going to equal 64 feet. The width is 8 feet more than the length. So I'm going to call the length x, and so the width, if it's 8 feet more, it's going to be x plus 8. So um, my, my box looks a little bit different. So um, I'll call that the length, and then this is x plus 8. So this is x plus 8, this is x plus 8, and if this is x, this is x as well. So this doesn't look too bad. I know the perimeter, I'm going to add all of these together to equal 64. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to go around and count the x's. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4 x's and then plus 16. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 16 and divide by 4, and I get x equals 12. Um, I think a really, really, really important thing on this is to be able to, um, to answer the question. So the question is, find the dimension. So it's not telling us to find x. It's great that we did, but we need to find the dimension. So the dimensions of the length are 12 feet, but the dimensions of the width are 12 plus 8, which is 20. So that is our first word problem. Hopefully that's not too scary. Um, mixture problems always kind of stress people out. Um, so they, to me, they always fall into one of three categories. Um, you either have like unit, so like money, um, times quantity, um, you might have a whole um, and a percentage, so we're going to multiply a whole of something times a percentage, and that's going to give us a part of something, and then um, our trusty distance equals rate times time, um, that you've probably seen in many algebra classes, that's going to come up as well. Okay, so the first thing when I come to a word problem, I just really seek out um, what I want from what they're telling me. So sometimes they just put in extra junk that I don't like. Um, so let's just kind of, um, I'm going to kind of get you into my mind and show you or have you um, think about how I think. Okay, so we have cashews are sold for a certain price, and we have peanuts are sold for a certain price. The two types of nuts are mixed, so it's a mixture problem, and the mix sells for $2.90 a pound. Okay, if there are 200 pounds of the mixture, how many pounds of each type of nut? So I'm going to split this into two parts. So we have cashews, We have peanuts, and then we have a mixture. So that's what I'm getting from the beginning of this. Um, and I know that if I like put in a handful of cashews and a handful of peanuts, I'm going to get this mixture that they're talking about. So I have a feeling we're going to add those together there. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to ask myself is, what type of problem is this? Is it a unit um, 
times a quantity? Is it a whole percentage times a part? Or is it distance equals rate times time? And so I believe it is this because we have money and a quantity. We don't have a percentage. If you see, like you'll see the percent sign if it's a problem like that. So I'm gonna, um, within each of the, like the cashew and the peanut box, I'm gonna look at this, see how I can answer this. So it gives us the, the unit, which is a price of the cashews, which is 275. And it gives us the unit or price of the peanuts, which is $3 a pound. So this is per pound. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back. Okay, well then what's our quantity? Well, it doesn't tell us specifically for either of them, but it tells that there's 200 total pounds. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to call this X. You can call the peanuts X if you want to. It doesn't matter. But the other one is going to be 200 minus X. Because if I have a group here, this group plus this group equals 200. So I'm going to subtract that X from that group. Okay. So again, let's come up here. So we're going to be multiplying these together. So I'm going to multiply the cashews with the cashew price with the quantity and get 2.75x. I'm gonna multiply the three, so think about this in algebra terms, we're gonna distribute that. So um, we have, uh, let's see, 600 minus three x equals, okay, so what do we know? Let's go back up here. And again, I'm thinking, I'm going back here, so I'm thinking unit and quantity. So um, the mix sells for $2.90. So that's my unit. And the quantity, they also give us that, 200 pounds. So I'm going to take 290 times 200, just like I've done with all of these. So 290 times 200 is... 580, and then it becomes just a solely algebra problem. So I'm going to combine my terms and solve for x. So when I do that, I get x equals 80. And so now at this point, once I have my x, I always go back and answer the question, how many pounds of each type of net? So I can totally answer this now. So right here, that's my x. So there's going to be 80 pounds of cashews, and then I'm gonna go back and answer this, so 200 minus 80 is 120 pounds of peanuts. So I have completed that problem. I've answered everything it's asked me to. Okay, um, let's, I think I'm gonna do um, the next few problems in a different um, video so it doesn't get so long. So that is it for this video.